I am Cat Woods and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review this new Bible from Thomas Nelson. It's not ne technically new, like they just put it out, but it's new to me and I'm going to review it. So I'm horrible with names, but I'm going to do the best. So this is Max Lucado's um, Bible, as we can tell here, and it's his Encouraging Word Bible. I have seen this for about a year now and I don't know why I have just continued to review other Bibles and not really this one every article that I've seen on this Bible it just it drew me in like wait until you see the inside so look as you can tell from the features there's a lot going on in this Bible so I am super excited to go ahead and share it with you all here is the ISBN number. You can find it on Amazon, ChristianBook.com. And it is from Thomas Nelson. We have a hard dust cover, so highly encourage you guys to store your Bibles um, in boxes. When you get boxes, keep them. I know I do. I keep all of my, my Bibles in their box just to keep them safe from dust and my little fur babies. All right, so I do have the um, faux flex, I do believe is what they call it. No, they call theirs the leather soft, but it's it's like a faux flex. It's a blue color, fake leather. All right, so it has a beautiful blue marble effect. I don't know if you could tell this. There we go. There we go. They even have some green. There is like green, has like a fake green leather. So that's pretty cool. This beautiful gold leaf and they have stitching around the perimeter but there's two so you just don't get one stitching you get two rolls of actual stitching I love that that's that's special that is a special touch it is a my sewn Bible we get two ribbon markers we have a dark blue and a light blue color here let me unfold them we always know Thomas Nelson's ribbons are amazing. These ones are thick satin on both sides. Cut at an angle. Now we have the dark blue matching head and tail bands right here. I did say it was my sewn. We have gold gilding. All right. So let's hop on in. It is a paste down liner. The presentation page. I love the color blue that they have chosen for this Bible. Now we have the copyright page here. Before you begin your Bible. So reading this Bible, make sure you go over and read a little bit about the design for this Bible, how you can use it, a little bit about Max himself, table of contents here, abbreviations, the introduction. So let me show this real quick. Feel free to pause it and read it if you like. We have the article index, so all the articles you can be found right there. You can find, um, we can find the page number that it's on, so that's how they have it. We even have a Bible reading plan in the front of the Bible. I love when they do that because not everyone goes to the back of the Bible a lot, so when they have the helps on the front, it's, it's really, yeah, I, I like that. And you can tell that all the helps has this light blue color going down the margins of the Bible. This is the preface to the New King James translation. And we're going to hop on in. Now it changes from the blue to the green. So this is the introduction. Let me get you in closer here so you can see a little bit better. 
we have about this book over here on the right in this nice gray box. I see we have a question you can ask. Now this is just the introduction to the book of Genesis. Now hopping into the actual Bible, we have a single column format. It looks to be about a nine, close to a 10 point font. I don't believe, oh yeah. Yeah, it is a nine and it's a comfort print. So that's what it looks like. It is true to actual, you know how some Bibles, they'll say that it's a nine, but it's more like an eight or vice versa. So yeah. So it is a single column format. We have the chapter numbers and they're in that green color. So we're gonna have green and blue. Not exactly sure why they chose two different colors like that. Um, especially the green. The green is just, it's really, it's kind of offsetting. I kind of wish that they kept this blue color just throughout the whole Bible, but who knows? And on the side here, I like the information that they have. I'm going to take you off the tripod, give you a closer look at what they have going on. The margins is where they have all the goodies. So this is the stuff that's really going to help you dive deeper into what you're reading. We have the situation, the observation over the chapter that it's over here on the page on the right side. We have the inspiration. The inspiration kind of reads like a devotional. Some of them, some of them are like questions. We have footnotes, textural footnotes down here at the bottom divided by this blue line we do have chapter numbers or chapter headers in the blue color and this is continuing on with the inspiration now down at the bottom it ends with application so it has the book so it's going to cover chapter one and chapter two And that's how it's going to finish it. I like how they have the application. So it kind of is like the soap method for those of you who know the soap method. And then it starts again. Consider choices. So is this the very next page? I think I'm missing something here. Cause that just jumped into something yeah no that's so they have a considered choice and it looks like it's an article yeah it's an article and then these are study guides so love 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 these questions whenever you can get a Bible that has questions like this I highly highly recommend it because you can do your own Bible study by yourself you don't need a group of people it'd be nice to have a group of people I totally understand that but for those of us who are not blessed with a huge community, having these questions and getting and learning how to ask questions like these really helps you know how to use your Bible. So I like that study guide. We have character studies here. Well, this is more of an article. Yeah, that's more of an art article over Adam and Eve. And then Cain and Abel. And then check this out. So they also have, not all the margins will be full. So they have these pre-dotted margins. And they're light enough to where you don't have to follow the straight line. So if you want to write something, they help you keep your line straight. But you can also doodle. I, I like that. I like how it's a pre-dot and it's not just, you know, a line. They should always, publishers, keep with the pre-dots. It keeps it very, very open for anyone to use. Open to interpretation. So yeah, this is, I love, love, love this Bible. And I cannot wait to dive into it. I mean, the application parts are always my favorite. 
because they don't only show you how you can apply the Bible to your life, but they, again, with anything with questions, it gets your wheels turning. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. This Bible is amazing. Okay, get it on here to my favorite book of the Bible. We got Psalms. I love this blue cobalt color. That's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. Now, if you are going to underline, do any kind of highlighting and marking, you could all, this nine point font is so beautiful. It's crisp, it's clean. I mean, the spacing between each word in the sentence, it's, yeah, it's lovely. Super, super lovely. And it's not too light. Like if you look at the text itself, compared to like the study notes, that's a pretty light color, so I like how it's it's semi-bold. It's not too bold to where it's going to strain your eyes, but it is semi-bold. Get a close look up at our helps in the margins. We got verses to look up that they're referencing. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It really is an amazing Bible. Okay, let's put you back on the tripod here. Sorry about that. All right. So this is a black letter text. Look at these margin spaces. Oh, you could take so many notes. And there's still a lot of help, too. Now that I'm saying that, I'm getting nothing but margin space. <laughs> okay, the New Testament. Big, full character articles. I like these considers. Yeah, these consider where they're making, it's a consider, but they're study guides. I really, really, really like those. And I do believe there's one in every, or a couple. Yeah, there's a couple in every book of the Bible. Oh, they even have, I'm glad I seen this one. Jesus through the Bible. So there is a lot of goodies, you all, in this Bible. And for the price, yes. This would be an amazing one for a new Christian. Like I said, because they have so many, they don't, they have the Bible, but they have a lot of helps to help them understand how they can use it. They don't need somebody sitting there helping them think of what questions to ask because just look at this. This is still in the book of Matthew. Consider Jesus prayed. Study guide over that. Wow. All right. So let's get towards the back here, you all. See what we have in the back. Okay, we're going to finish it with Going Deeper Studies. So we have a 30 day, it looks like. Yeah, it's a 30 day study plan. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. I did not even see this in the back. I'm going to take you off for this one, you all. 
this is cool so this is a 30-day plan like you've seen at the beginning so day one look what you're gonna do you're gonna have you ever wondered and then there's two questions there then you got scriptures to read over then you have this paragraph then we also have a verse to look up and then we have some personal application with like um, questions so your personal ap applications like do you believe Jesus is the only way to the Father you can write him here you can go deeper and put him into your um, your war binders your notebooks and stuff that is so cool then you have a quote from Max himself oh and you got a further deeper study that is too cool so imagine if you had a couple of girls you can get together or just a couple of friends this will be an amazing study to do I like that I didn't didn't even know this Bible had it so you see how many helpful tools are in this that is too cool that really 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 is amazing I'm gonna use this in a couple of different Bibles not just this one all right so in the back after that 30-day amazing Bible study again it's a Bible study you can do by yourself you don't need a group of people just because I suggested it you don't need it we have God cares for you verses so whenever you feel like you need comfort from him read this verse I love having these a list I like putting these lists in my war binders too growing up spiritually verses very very important verses to go through also to memorize where to turn so when you're feeling angry some verses to look up when you need encouragement when you feel fear wow you all yet yeah, highly highly recommend this Bible now we have the acknowledgments So all the amazing people that have helped put this Bible together. And then we're going to finish it with 2K Denmark's amazing Bible maps. So they are, yeah, they're on cardstock. And there's only a couple back here. Beautifully printed. You can read like it's not too tiny to where you're not able to read the small little names it's keeping in with that nine point font I mean this one over here is a little bit different because there's a lot of them but even though they're all smashed together and in different colors they're still very very readable it's like we only get four of them yeah and then that's the end so if you do have this Bible let me know do you use it a lot um, have you found it super super helpful I know I'm going to really really enjoy it it's just yeah there's so much like amazing goodies in it okay I'm gonna end it there as always remember be a creative tool in our father's art box I'll talk to y'all later bye